This is part three of our breast cancer, but this is generally about what's going on. And, and we got freebies for you too. Freebies? Absolutely, for breast cancer survivors, yes. See you in a moment with Nurse Linda. This is Nurse Linda. And you got freebies and you got what's going on and stuff in the news about stuff, stuff in the news about breast cancer. Hard ass yes. school people. <laughs> what we have first is JC Penney's across the country. Um, are providing free haircut and styles for all breast cancer survivors for the month of October, which I think is absolutely phenomenal. And Columbia Center is 803 781 4465. Mm -hmm. That number again, 803 781 4465. JC Penny really cares. It says it right on yes, there. Yes, they do. Yes. And for other people who come in, they're actually donating money as well to the Breast Cancer Research Fund. So, absolutely. So, I would support them if you can do that. Um, I have a little sticker here. This has been very important to me. Save the Tatas. I saw that a few years ago, fell in love with it, thought it was absolutely the cutest thing in the world. And it's a car magnet, and my niece got that for me as a gift. Save the Tatas. Yes. www.savethetatas, that's T-A-T-A-S dot com. Yes. And I support this proudly, and I have supported women through my oncology work for a very long period of time. And in the news this past week, we had a couple instances of uh, people in school getting admonished for wearing T-shirts supporting breast cancer. Um, there's a lot of controversy surrounding it, and I can see both sides of the story, but I think we have to have a little more understanding and appreciation for why these kids are doing this. Uh, their moms are breast cancer, being treated for breast cancer actively right now. One young man had a pink shirt on that apparently on it said, I like boobies. Who doesn't? And it was in support of breast cancer. Uh, the school... Uh, admonished him for that and made him turn the shirt inside out. Uh, it, it was just, I understand it, but it's not like he would wear it year round necessarily. It's not like, there are certain things that should be permitted because of the circumstances. Another young man was not allowed to try out for his high school, junior high school, I think it was, basketball team, because he cut his hair into a mohawk and painted it pink. Same thing, his mom is actively undergoing treatment for breast cancer. Uh, I think what we need to remember here is why these young kids are doing this. They're trying to tell people in the, their own possible, best possible way they can that they're under stress. They're dealing with a lot. It's not just in support of their parent, but look at what they're dealing with. Their parent who's sick can't give them the attention they may be needing at that moment in time because they're not feeling well. The other parent in the home, if there is one, is busy taking care of the parent who's sick. Uh, these kids are trying to make it on their own. They're trying to deal with school, deal with everything going on, deal with the fact that they may lose their parent. Uh, we need to be a little more understanding of that and not admonish them for their activities, but encourage them in different ways if they're not appropriate. Yeah, school administrators uh follow the rules too tightly. A little too tightly, yes, under the circumstances. And we have football players who are wearing pink shoes and pink gloves and pink on their helmets, and you find pink everywhere this month, and yet a child cannot wear a pink mohawk temporarily. Then say, okay, at the end of the month it goes. I get it, you know, but allow kids to verbalize in their own way. These are kids who, who can't speak as well as adults. Uh, who cannot say, hey, this is what I'm feeling because they don't understand it themselves, they're children. But that's where we're at, so I just had to give my little editorial piece there on that one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we got some great things coming up. I will be at the Jewish Community Center in Blythewood tomorrow for a health oh, fair. That's right, yeah. It's an exciting health fair. It's all about head to toe. So if anybody's going to be there, we'll hope we'll see you there. Um, we have coming up on Saturday. Uh, the Caregivers Coalition of the Midlands is doing the conference at the zoo. And I'm told, as of right now, that's full up. But I don't know that for sure. So if anybody is still interested, just give us a call. We'll see about getting you in there. Um, we have coming up uh, the uh, Alzheimer's Walk on October 20th. That's going to be at Finley Park. 
and they're still looking for people to participate in that. That's going to be very important to do. Uh, we have coming up Apple Harvest Health Fair on October 24th, and that's going to be at the Seven Oaks Recreation Center in Columbia. That'll be from 9 to 12, and that's always a wonderful time. They have a lot of wonderful vendors there. And then on October 26th, the Capital Senior Center, their health fair, which I believe goes from like 10 to 2 or something. I'd have to check the time on that. We've got a couple weeks coming up with that. We've got that one coming up, and we're participating in a haunted trail, which Tanya and I are looking forward to. We'll be handing out candy to all kinds of trick-or-treaters, and that's going to be at the Harbison community, uh, right near uh, Lowe's department store in Harbison, and uh, we'll be dressed up. Really? We're going to dress up, yes. We're going to have some fun with that one. You're going to dress up the nurse? No, that's not dressing up, no. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to be a hippie. That's my other life. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. So, A hippie. A hippie, yes. I'm very good at that. Laid back, relax. Don't shower for a week. Yeah, I don't know. No, 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 <sighs> no. no. <laughs> that was a different level of hippie back then in the 60s. Well, on the 20th of October, I'm judging a barbecue contest at the uh, Shrine Temple. Oh, okay. Oh, very good. I don't remember which one offhand. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> But uh, that's going to be fun. Yes. I enjoyed it. I'm also another kind of judge, but this, this kind of a judge is more fun. <laughs> <clears throat> they feed me barbecue. <laughs> so it's an interesting month. Yes, a very full month. And then uh, as we get through the month, another week or two, we'll start talking about what we have coming up in November as well. Our calendar is getting full very quickly. A lot of people calling you to speak at their clubs. Yes, we're speaking <clears throat> in a number of different places. Uh, I spoke at the Richland County Public Library last week. It was wonderful. Um, one person showed up, but that's okay. We had a wonderful talk. Uh, I spoke at the um, Rotary Club. Rotary Club, thank Meets you. My Ryan's. Yes. <clears throat> yes. And that was very well received, too, by the way. Thank you. That's good to know. Yeah. And uh, we have coming up in different service clubs like the uh, Casey West Columbia Lions Club. Mm -hmm. And if you want to have Nurse Linda come and speak to your organization, uh, email her at brookhc at sc.rr.com or call her 803-941-7231. That's 803-941-7231. She'd love to speak. She has a whole bunch of 20-minute preparation. One of them includes how to eat chocolate without guilt. Absolutely. The other thing we're doing for this month, which I have not talked to you about, Dr. Charles, is for anyone who's interested through the rest of this month for a $25 donation to the Breast Cancer Research, Research Fund. Uh, we will do, I will do one-on-one, -on -one, teach someone how to do breast exam or discuss with them their risks. I was going to do that until my wife found out. <laughs> We'd be happy to do that. Come to someone's home and review that with them, absolutely. Or maybe a group. That would be great. It would be a good thing to do. You've been listening to Senior Mobile with Nurse Linda on STRN, the future of Internet, radio, and TV. Brook Healthcare sponsors this program. And come back next week. Bye now.